Hello and welcome back to yet another Wilson 18 tutorial. In this video series we've been talking about how you can set up an Ubuntu server as a web server. We've talked about how you can install Ubuntu server, how you can give it a static IP address. From that we went on to how you can install PHP My Admin and updating the server and in this it, it's going to be hopefully a fairly fast video and this is just going to be about how you can um, try and make PHP ad, my admin a little bit more secure so only you on your particular IP address and the ones defined by yourself can access it this means that you don't get random people trying to hack into your database and trying to steal your clients information um, if if you didn't get to watch the videos I've done previously, then you can go over to wilson18.com and go to the how to section and scroll down. You can see a load of videos about Ubuntu, and there will be more on there by the time these videos get uploaded. So let's get started. I'll be showing you how to do this on a virtual machine, just to speed stuff up, but it should work great. So when the server loads, we will need to log in with our username and password. And once the server's back on, you see the same page telling you your IP address, your memory usage, and everything else. Um, the next thing we need to do is to edit the PHP My Admin configuration file. This is just so we can tell it to not allow connections from any IP address other than the ones we tell it to. Um, we, we do this by typing in to the console um, sudo, which is super user do, and then nano, which is the text editor we are using, and then the location of the file, which is etc apache 2 <laughs> uh, conf.d and phpmyadmin.conf and enter the password and this should bring up a file the same if not very 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 similar um, to edit this we need to go down to the bit where it says directory user share phpmyadmin return go back up and tab it across and you need to make sure you type exactly what I type because um, if you do it it'll kill your web server um, and it won't allow any connections to it and it won't work but as soon as you correct the file it'll work brilliantly so don't worry about it um, I'll make sure to link it to a guide or have it listed in the details just so you don't make any cock ups but anyway you type in order space deny comma allow and then enter and then tab make sure you don't do a space between between deny and allow so it's all clumped together um, and then you type in deny again space from space all and enter again tab it across and then you type in allow and then from and then you type the IP address you want to allow a connection from. Um, it's always a good idea to do allow from and then localhost. And that's just in case you decide if at some point you decide to give it a graphical user interface and you go on the internet and try and do it because it won't let you want it. Um, so you can either type in localhost or your IP address. And again, if you're wanting to add more than one, you can simply do allow from and then the IP address so in this I will be um, getting it to allow connection from 10.0.0.25 um, you can do internal IP addresses and external so if you wanted to block uh, uh, if you wanted to allow access sorry from your external IP address so you can access it off any computer in your house then you can do you just type in allow from space and then the IP address so that's done so to save it you press control and O 
click enter and control X and you can just then reboot the server just to make sure everything's saved so type in sudo space reboot and that should then reboot your server and once it's finished loading you can try it out and just make sure it works but I know that it does work um, so if we wanted to go over to our internet browser and type in 10.0.0.150 sorry and PHP my admin it works um, we can also test it proving that it doesn't work which might as well do just to show you that it doesn't work so I'll go to Wilson18 password go back up to that configuration file Yeah. Right, I've done that. I'm just going to save the file and reboot. There probably is a quick way to do that, but I haven't figured it out yet. Sorry, i being busy. So once that finishes rebooting, you can log in again. And just to make sure that we can't get access to it, saying forbidden, you do not have access to this page. Blah 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 blah. So to fix that, you just go back onto the um, that file and add your IP address to the list of ones allowed. And then save X reboot. So yeah, now we've done that we can test it again just to make sure it is letting us back on it which it is so you've done your first step for making your server secure and um, obviously if you didn't have php my admin in the first place then it'd be a bit more secure but anyway <laughs> that's not the point you've secured php my admin so only you can gain access to it and that's the main thing so now you won't get many people being able to actually get onto your um MySQL server and steal all your clients information and anything else that might have saved on there like your passwords or credit card details or anything like that which shouldn't be saving anyway but yeah so thank you for watching in the next video um, I will be going through some more security things like firewalls and how to install them and set them up and I'll also be telling you how you can allow connections from um, or how you can host more than one domain on your website and it will respond to the domain according to which domain you type in and so you can host basically more than one website on the same computer which is quite handy so um, yeah, again thank you for watching if you didn't like it then comment below and I can try and help you out if you got stuck same thing again comment below and I'll help you out if you like the video then thank god make sure you um, like and subscribe if you can please because that would be brilliant means other people can see the video and hopefully it'll help them out as well so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video